Yeah, well, is, welcome back, bitches. About 10, 10, 15. Okay. How are we feeling? What's up, bitches and hoes and hoes and bitches and we're in back. that order? That's right. Whatever <laughs> order he just said, that's the order. Exactly, which bitches I said both ways. So. Oh, uh, shit. I'm going to die. I need healthy. Gib healthy. I need uh, to get the healthy. When are we going to play Twisted Metal, dude? I fucking love that game. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't like the version that we played. Again, you say that again, and I still have no idea what we were talking about. I watched that episode where you're telling me, you're trying to tell me about a Twisted Metal game we played. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, I still dude. have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe we were just, we might have been playing something else then. I just thought it was Twisted Metal, but I swear we played Twisted Metal. I don't own any of them, so we couldn't couldn't have been Twisted dude, Metal. We, I swear we played it like online or something. We played with like a bunch of other people, and we were driving around. And I was like getting murdered, and I got so mad, so I just made you play. Did we record it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I have this memory and I don't even know if it's real. How long ago was it you talking? Oh, thinking? It was long. Ew. Ew. It was like before I moved in with Margo. Okay. But we were doing Cyberjacks? We were definitely doing Cyberjacks. Okay. I know. He took his glasses, right? Yep. You gonna take oh, him? Yep, yeah, yeah there he man. is, Mr. Big Dick. Oh, he's got a huge slow. Hell yeah! It's an ongoing gag. Very nice. Damn, oh, dude! You gave her such an overbite. She looks like a fucking Simpson. <laughs> 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 I finally figured out what. Dude, you're right. Profiler. Holy shit! You she's totally a right. Simpson. Which actually makes her ten times hotter because now she's actually has a shape. Because before we were just like, what is that deformed fuck? And now we're like, oh, it's a Simpson. Which Dude. means they're actually a race of people that look like that. So therefore, she's no longer ugly. <laughs> she's a Simpson with a nice butt and big old titties. Right. Damn, look at this dude go. This is what Marge's life bo- was before she came back. <laughs> Dude, dreaming. All right, yeah. Sometimes uh, you could lose a dream. Have you ever done that? I've done that maybe twice in my life. I've done it once in my life that I really remember, and mm-hmm. I want to say twice, but it could be a false memory like Twisted Metal. <laughs> or but Twisted I, Metal I memory. Did it one time I was really sentient, and I remember I was having a dream about getting bullied. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I used to have this little, uh, I, don't know, I, I, I want to say I was like eight, uh, which is a really random age. I could have been like 10, 12. I don't yeah. Know. But I just remember I had this little orange uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, like little figurine I had. Yeah. It was like plastic and it was like, I don't know, like two inches big. And I used to play with that all the time and I used to, it was like my favorite toy. So I had a dream that he was like full size and he just like busted through a wall. Oh, shit. And like I made that <laughs> happen. Like I was getting bullied and then I was just like, yo, I, I had a name for him. I named him. I have no, I, I don't remember what the fuck I named him. But uh, I, like, called his name, and like he came through the fucking, like, wall, and I was like, holy fucking shit! <laughs> and I jumped on him, and he fucking ate the people. I don't even know if it was actually real people that were bullying me. I have no idea. I've only been bullied a handful of times in my life. Re- uh, people would fuck with you, really? Oh, dude, yeah. No, I got bullied. But, like, I got bullied by all the jocks. Like, I really didn't huh. have a clique in high school. I was just, like, either just outside of someone's clique... Or, like, either right on the inside or, like, right in the middle. Like, I could be in the middle of people's clicks and not be owned by that click. S- strange. Huh. I didn't, I didn't belong anywhere. I had I friends did. everywhere, <laughs> but I didn't belong anywhere. I it have friends so everywhere. I was, I was just a floater, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was definitely an emo boy, so, like, you know. Oh, well, yeah. You had, like, a, <laughs> I, I was, like, a jock, but, like, I didn't really care about playing sports. I just okay. did it because, like, I'm huge and, like, I just always felt like that was a that's what I was supposed to do. Well, you probably could, man, because you probably yeah. could have done and well then, there. Like, yeah. Towards the end of my high school career, I was like, you know what? I actually really like theater. So really? I, start, I started doing a lot of theater. Yeah. And, oh shit! Um, Look at you. Those people annoy the tits out of yeah, me. Yeah, it actually got me kicked <laughs> out of. Uh, it got me kicked out of football my freshman year. For being in theater. Yeah, I was doing theater and doing football at the same time. Oh, uh, okay. Um, all my can my my cancer. My sister was also very sick with cancer, and she also ended up passing away in that October. And uh, I think like two days later, I got 
I got kicked off the football team. They thought I was at play rehearsal, which I got my script and I told them I wanted to play football and be in the play. I had to check in during one of my free periods and like show, I think it was like the art teacher. Yeah. And I knew my lines. I would like run lines with him. So he knew I was good, but I didn't have to go to rehearsal every day. I'd go to football practice. Okay. So like I was still making it work while well, I missed a day cause I was at the hospital with my sister. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, they thought I was at play rehearsal. So I even had a note that my parents wrote and, uh, my, my football coach was not a very nice man. Doesn't sound like it. Fuck that. No. And it's actually kind of weirdly fucked up and like weird karma, but his sister died of cancer like six years later. Damn, dude. Or um, his mother, <laughs> it was his mother. That's fucked. Yeah, she had like a crazy brain tumor or something. So like, I don't, I don't feel good about that. It's, I, it's not something it's just, I feel good it's about. Just, I'm very sad for him, but it was just like some weird, strange karma. It was, yeah, some crazy shit that just yeah, that happened to happen. Uh, um, he was my coach for the whole entire time I was, um, I was JV. Yeah. And uh, he just never liked me. Like, JV, I, I played through the whole season. But, like, I didn't get any playing time. Like, I was basically just, like, a practice hero and, like, a, a like a body for him to just throw around and, like, wherever I needed to be. Damn. But you you don't know why play. he didn't like you? Uh, I, I, was, I wasn't I was part of the popular kid. Like, there, uh, was, okay. like, there was the kids that played Tano at a football clinic since they were, like, like 10. Oh. And, like, I wasn't allowed to play clinic because when I was 10, I was huge. So they wanted me to play with 13-year-olds. And my mom was like, nah. <laughs> I don't okay. really want you to do that. And I was like, Mom, I want to do it. I'm huge. Like, fuck it. And she was just like, nah, you're kind of a pussy ass bitch. And I don't want to hear you complain. And <laughs> He's I was a little just bitch. Like, I don't I was have to tell just you. Like, whatever. Yeah, I was actually a huge bitch until uh, the summer right, af- right, right after I graduated high school. Um, I got real bad into drugs and like my balls dropped and I became a man. After doing all the drugs? Yeah, because yeah, like doing the drugs put me in like really weird situations. And I got myself in a lot of hijinks. Yeah. And, uh, and like it just it like made me grow up and like get hard, you know what I mean? So like, I was always like afraid to get punched in the face, and like I got punched in the face so many times that I was like, if someone hits me, I'm just gonna be upset about it. Like, <laughs> and then you go beat like, the fuck out of them, <laughs> right? So like, so like, well, that, that was how it was for a little bit, but like now in my, you know, I'm in my mid 30s, but I'm in the last year of my mid 30s. Once I'm 27, I'm technically in my late 30s. What? <laughs> That's how it works. Or, uh, mid the late 30s? Do you mean mid 20s? Or 20s. That's what yeah, I mean. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Scared me, man. I'm like, I no, misspoke. we're not jumping 10 years ahead. No, Please, no. No, no, <laughs> that, that was a silly mistake. No. But uh, uh, right now in my uh, in my almost over with mid-20s, ah, uh, if someone hits me, I'm going to be very upset. But I'm going to try and solve it with words before I do it with fists. Yeah. But if worst comes to worst, I, I'm sure I can still do it. Oh yeah, no doubt. I don't. I don't doubt you sure could just, just tear just, some people I'm, up, dude. Yeah, easy peasy. I'm just not as violent as I once was. But you used to be. Used to be bad. I used to just go to bars and be like, every time I go to a bar, I get punched in the face. This time, <laughs> I want it to happen. Like, uh, there will be times where I'm just like, man, I'm not trying to do this right now, but like, I'll fuck you up. And there are other times where I'm like, you know what, dude? I feel like it's gonna happen. Let's just fucking get it over. <laughs> and I'll just oh. be, I'll, I would just be a cock fuck. Yeah, those it just kicked you right out. Yes, I own this app. Why are you telling me I don't? That was weird. Also, we here at Cyberjax do not condone the use of legal or illegal substances. (laughs) Or fights. Drugs. Or fights. No fighting. Kids, don't fight. Yeah, no fighting. Solve with words, not with hit. It definitely made me a badass, and I can can definitely say (laughs) I can defend myself without question. You learn to defend yourself. I did not have before. I have a lot of confidence when it comes to to physical combat at this point in my life. Oh, okay. But my- it's also fast and fleeting because I'm about to enter my late 30s and I haven't been in 20s. Late- God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. We're not that old, dude. I think it's because I work with a lot of people who are in their late 30s and I'm yeah, always yeah. like talking to my girlfriend and I'm saying, oh, yeah, like so and so. She'll be like, oh, like how old are they? And I'll be like, oh, they're like in the late 30s. Makes sense. Because like you work with such a, a wide variety of people in healthcare, you know, some of their actions and stuff, like sometimes late 30s people act like they're fucking 19 yeah yeah no doubt like, about that yeah they come in and they're like i'm not doing this shower are you fucking serious <laughs> i'm like you're an aide just as i am i'm not doing your fucking work so you better figure it the fuck out oh man i hope it, <laughs> i hope it's saved yeah me too because i would suck to do all that again i really i i hope it auto saved it probably did not brother uh but uh, i hope it like, did yeah. hey do you own this fucking app right now 
I don't give a fuck about your gameplay. I don't give a fuck that you're fucking recording to, okay. to send it to some sluts. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, I gotta go to the warehouse. You I thought I had to go sluts. go back to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, the best sluts. sluts ever. Okay, I'm gonna get to Kinsey's warehouse next time. On Cyber